Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. We just got 2020.40.3. Let's go through it. Okay folks, taking a quick look at it right now. First thing we see here is speed assist improvements. Now this is basically the speed sign recognition using the camera up here. That came out in the US probably a few weeks ago, if not a month ago already, um, or maybe even more. Now all it does is, like I said, it, it reads the speed limit signs as you drive by and it more accurately gives the correct speed limit around you as you're driving on the certain ro roadway or highway that you're driving on. So that is new to Canada, took a while, licensing, regulations, uh, dragging their feet. I don't know what reason it was, but it's finally here in Canada. And uh, we're going to go take a look at that in just a few seconds. Priority Bluetooth device. Now, this is interesting. Basically, if you have two Bluetooth devices like I do, uh, my wife and then myself have one, but I drive this car more, it'll prioritize if we're both in the car. It won't just pick hers. It'll prioritize mine. And I'll show you how to do that in, in a second. Uh, and then, of, of course, glove box pin. Now, glove box pin is different than just valet because valet, it'll work in valet mode. It'll, it'll lock out the glove box. But this is for if you don't want it to put it in valet mode and you're just driving and you don't want... Uh, if you don't want people that's driving with you to access the glove box for whatever secret reason that you're hiding something in there or privacy reasons, whatever it is, that's what you can do. Um, and, of course... It says, uh, this release contains minor improvements and bug fixes. Apparently, Elon had replied to someone on Twitter when they were asking about phantom braking, how it was getting bad. And I did notice that it has been getting bad in the last uh, couple versions. So Elon replied that it should be fixed and addressed in this uh, latest release. Okay, folks, let's take a look at the priority Bluetooth device. Now, if you go up here to where your uh, Bluetooth icon here is in the top right corner, you click on that. And then you get to see, these are the two phones I'm talking about. That's my iPhone and uh, Julie's iPhone there, uh, which is my wife. Uh, I've turned off sync messaging only because as I make this video, I'm getting peppered with text messages. <laughs> so as you can see, I could change it to mine or, or my wife's. And whoever you want to have the priority for, you can just toggle that switch on. Little orange star comes up. It says car will attempt to connect to priority device before others. So it'll... Gonna give it a try. It should work. I haven't heard that it doesn't. And a little star shows up there, so it shows which phone uh, or which device has the priority. So that's priority device. Moving on to the next one, glove box pin. So if you go to your settings and then you go to safety and security, scroll all the way down here, you will find pin to drive, which I've used, but I'm guilty that I don't use it all the time. I've turned it off now. I should use it. Everyone should use pin to drive if you don't want to get your car stolen. And here is glove box pin right here. You put in a code. Let me just put in 9999. And now it's activated. It's not going to be 999 all the time, folks. Or maybe it will be. So now if I go to the glove box and I go to open it up, it's going to ask for the pin right away. So if I put 6666, nope, nothing. If I put 1111, nothing. But if I put the right one, 9999, my glove box opens up. It's that easy. And it works that simply, folks. So that's glove box pin. And there's another feature in here, folks, that's not documented that is now in this latest version and that's the charge port heater element now that is turned on in software now now that it's getting colder and stuff for the model 3 and the model y now we know since the model y has been in production it's got that change to it and that's what differentiates the model y from the model 3 but it's apparently coming to the model 3 and to date we don't know anyone that has it uh, if you have a Model 3 and you know you have it and it's in the software settings, let me know if you can if that's something that you can toggle on or off or if it just it's just on and when it goes to a certain temperature, it kicks in. Let me know in the comments below if you have a Model 3 and it's working for you. Okay, folks, let's go for a quick drive and test out this new speed sign recognition here with the cameras. Now, I don't think there's a setting to turn on or anything in here. Uh, so what it normally does from the guys in the US that if it doesn't pick up a speed sign what it'll do is it'll just default to the old uh, data in the old maps so we're coming up we're, we're in a school zone here uh, it should pick up 40 but it didn't really say 40 
there was a little school sign there that said 40 kilometers so let's go here um, okay so I've picked the worst road to do this demonstration on because there is no speed limit sign there anywhere that I can see so let's get on to another road that has some more uh, speed limits okay folks while we look for a, a speed limit sign and a, a change in, in the posted speed limit I will remind you too that there is another feature that is in the US release that isn't in the Canadian release for 2020.40.3 that is now you don't need to confirm when you're going through an intersection that has a green light um, it's not asking for the confirmation now if you're the lead car and there's no other car in front of you usually you have to confirm we either the, pressing the stock or the um, uh, accelerator pedal now you don't need to do that the only time you're gonna need to do that and, and keep in mind this is in most intersections but there are some intersections that it doesn't uh, pick it up but the other time is if you're the, at a red light and the light goes green and you're the lead car at the front of the intersection then you'll still need to confirm that hasn't come to Canada yet give it a three or four weeks just like the speed signs and I'm sure it'll come to Canada okay this is an area here that traditionally it's an 80 zone but for some reason uh, the map thinks that it's 60 and it always will drop down to 60 even though it's 80 so we're coming up to it right now it still says it's 80 uh, and I'm on uh, autopilot and cruise control um, at 90 kilometers so that's why we're going up to 85 for the cars in front of us but um, coming up soon what it did previously is it dropped down to 60 even though it's still still an 80 zone it was just reading it wrong and it's been doing it for quite some time so let's see if that's changed and it uh, stays at 80 or if it will continue to drop to 60 okay so here's an 80 sign here coming up it still says 80 that's good I'm thinking by now it went down to uh, 60 in this area that's where it usually does so that's good it's uh, staying at 80 so it, it read the actual sign there Okay, folks, we're going from 80. This is 60 coming up there. There's a sign that just said 60 with an arrow, meaning 60 up ahead. I have to come out of autopilot there because that guy was on the side of the road. Now we're doing 80. It says 80. Now we just passed the 60 and it went to 60 right away. So that's another perfect example. So now we're 60. Uh, and now I know it changes up ahead. So let's go up ahead and see what it does there. Okay, so we're going through this stretch here that says it's a 60 kilometer hour zone. So it's set at 60 so with the 10 over. I can do a max of 70 on autopilot. Uh, it should start changing up here. But of course, we gotta slow down for uh, this uh, turning truck. So truck turn, that was an abrupt braking a little bit, a little bit too much for my liking. Okay, so we're doing 60. It should change to, okay, see, it says it's going to change to 80 up here. It says 80 begins. So it, says, it sees it, but it, we haven't passed it yet. Now we've passed it. Now it goes up to 80. The only thing I got to do here is click on that. It matches the speed. I, I wish it matched the speed before, but see, this is one area where I don't believe it would pick up that sign and it would continue to do 60 around here. Okay, we're just leaving an 80 zone. That's why it says 80 there. But we, there's a sign posted there saying 70. Will it read that? Yep, it dropped to 70 right away. So it's reading it really, really well, folks. I think from here, from 70, further up ahead, it drops down to 60. And it should read that quite fine. So there you go. There you have it. I, we don't need to do any more tests. That's the uh, speed sign recognition. The cameras are now reading the speed signs just like it did back in the old days of AP1 and uh, mobile eye so there you go there you have it folks that is 2020.40.3 the newest build and the latest build in version 10.2 software so if you have any questions about the software folks leave a comment down below but that is your first look a uh, quick first look of software version 2020.40.3 thanks for watching folks we'll catch you on the next one take care bye-bye Yeah.